It was simply time for a change. After seven tough seasons as Red Wings head coach Jeff Blaschel is out and the search for his replacement is underway. That's right. So we want to bring in Bernie now with what general manager Steve Eiserman had to say today. I, I don't think anything he said really surprised anyone at all. Jeff Blaschel was here for seven years. Wings made the playoffs only once. Not exactly what Red Wings and their uh, faithful have come to expect here in Detroit. We've got highlights of Blashville. Blashville started his run in 2015, coach of the Griffins, won the Calder Cup there, but after a playoff appearance in year one, the Wings never made it back in the next six years. Jamie Edmonds was at the press conference. She joins us live from LCA. Did he say anything, or was he just brutally honest? Bernie, I would say he's brutally honest. He didn't say anything really outside of the box, but he did say two days after Jeff Blaschel was relieved of his duties. This whole thing isn't just on Blaschel, the coach, but obviously change was needed. You cannot uh, judge Jeff Blaschel on the Detroit Red Wings record. I think you judge it on how he ran this program and conducted himself and and was extremely professional in that and and i think it's really unfair to put it on on the coach having said that you know for three years i'm making a change today for the reasons i stated earlier steve eiserman says every aspect of this team could use improvement but the biggest glaring problem this year was the defense it wasn't like we didn't address it we just weren't successful in 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 applying it and getting our players to play or getting our team to play much better defensively and and as the season went on you combine uh, a tougher schedule we start to lose players to injury and and the, the losses mounted and in particular the ugly losses so now the search begins on who will be the next to lead this team Iserman says ideally the new coach would be in place by the nhl draft he would not restrict himself on the kind of guy he's looking for he's all successful coaches whether they're coaching junior hockey, college hockey, uh, any any of the top leagues at the top levels around the world. I don't think you de necessarily define them in one particular, whether he's a defensive guy, an offensive guy, a player's coach or a militant coach, whatever. Good coaches adjust and they and they do what they have to do with the personnel that they have. Now, he did say that he has a few names bouncing around in his head. He wouldn't name names. His next step is to make a list and do the due diligence to hire the next head coach. Last question today, Bernie, to Iserman was, is Chris Illich's checkbook wide open? Well, he didn't say 100% yes, but he said Illich is prepared to win and do anything that takes. Back to you. There you go. Well, that's the best news I've heard come out of that press conference then today. And he gave about a thousand different people that he could pick with his uh, list there at the end. Yeah. Jamie, great seeing you. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Sounds like he's willing to go anywhere and he find didn't anybody. He on to a lot, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, and he won't. He'll keep yeah. it highly secret. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, right. we'll see you in a little bit, Bernie. Okay. Thank you. We're back on a Monday with a Michigan Community College forced to cancel all classes today, and it had nothing to do with the weather. New tonight, the high-tech problem that had the school scrambling all weekend.